come back in. Oh, look, it's Miss Wonderful. Hello, Cecil. I really need to know about Isaac's sister. It's very important. Yeah, well, we all have problems. And my problem is you. So leave. You want me to leave? I'll leave. <sighs> well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we want to get him to talk. Yeah, I think we need to make a substitution. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Okay. I don't think he wants to talk to me anymore. Look what the cat dragged in. We need to talk. Talk about love. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? You want to forget the past, you say? Yeah. Then what's with the picture behind you? If you wanted to forget the past, why'd you keep the picture? I have my reasons. Leave it alone. Just leave me alone. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Oh, uh, no, why? Why? He wasn't, he wasn't even getting angry at Never you at that point. Never think of moonlighting in PR. Oh, please don't. You're so good at talking to people. <laughs> Seriously, whatever you're doing, you can't handle it this way. If you're that good at talking, talking to people, you could be the British Foreign Secretary. Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's me. I'm like a bad penny. Press the point, maybe. So what happens, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like it was magic. Such energy, such life. Such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. Yes, you should have done. About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, just stop. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sex, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. Right, okay, so that gives us that idea. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this stuff <coughs> reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh well. We need to get him here then. That's how we're gonna get. That's how we're gonna put him put him to rest. So it's it's. Oh, I wasn't even gonna do that, was I? I was gonna look at. I was gonna look at the notes, wasn't I? So I was gonna put these together. But... So Isaac Brown had a sister. The plot thickens. No, I don't see how those two things are linked. What about Mavis? Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. He wrote about her? No. He wrote about him? Hello again. I said let go of that. Ask some questions. Sister. Tell me about your sister. Huh? huh? What you what want you with want my, my sister? sister? Nothing. I just want... You stay, stay away, away from, from my sister, sister here. here. All right, Mac, relax. Get, Get out of here! Ow! 
I need a portable piano. I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Now that we know she is Mavis Wilcox, can we now we know a bit more about her? Maybe we can Didn't yes. mean to click on this one. I'm becoming to come in. I may as well try these again, although I don't think it's gonna do me any good. Who was I I told you? Alright. I think that Alright, you have a good and I can't change it midway through the... Ah! So I was going to look at Columbia University. Try this again! Columbia University. Here's the number. Because that will then give me access to him, I assume. And then I'll progress. How may I direct your call? I doubt the ghost goes to Columbia University. That's hardly right. That's hard. Yeah. Thanks anyway. <coughs> right, so I need to ask him. Come on, let's get out of here. So I need to right find out you. who he is from her, I assume, so that I can then go and get him from Columbia University. Um... I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hmm. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. Uh. I'd like. Look, I'm not. Who are. Her husband or her son? Well, her son. Because, you know. It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. My book updated. We know Sam Wilcox now. Okay, that's good. Ask about her well-being. So, Mom, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own, but I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Ask about Dad. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, right. Sorry. Okay. Siblings? So, Mom... How are my brothers and her <laughs> sisters? That's, That's not, not funny, funny, Sam. Oh dear. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. Uh, pr pry her memory. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. Nobody. Ooh. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so, so confusing, confusing, Sam. Sam. Look, look at the, at door. the door. It says D, clear, clear as day. day. Uh. John Dur Durkin. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that, Is that a, a joke, joke Sam? Sam? You know you he's know been he's dead, dead for ten, ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget? He was your father! Slip my mind. Slip your <laughs> mind? Just, look, forget it. So what can you tell me about me? What do you think of me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. So, tell me more about yourself, Mom. Sam, since when did you become so interested? Just trying to get to know you better. Well, isn't that sweet? Aww. But I honestly don't know what to tell you. No. So, Sam, just well, but I. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. 
He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why he was so interested. Have you been talking? Alright, that's just going around. Oh, don't know why. Hmm. I think we'll close there, I think. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. That's given us some more things to work on. Uh, for the gate. I'm back. You were gone? Uh, Alright, we've just been there. Uh, home. So I've got my notes. Then we can call Columbia and ask out Sam. If John Durkin was Sam's father, it's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. Or it could be Sam Wilcox, depending on if he decided to take his mother's name. Um, uh, I think I'll keep it as Sam Durkin for now. Uh, okay. Mavis was married to John Durkin. Now John Durkin is dead. Why did Mavis change her last name? Maybe she was divorced. So we'll ask about Sam then. University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. Hmm. Durkin. Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. All right. I'll bite. How do you know my mom? Investigator. Let's just be kind of honest, like half truths. Um, it's kind of easier to hide the truth behind a small amount of lie. I'm investigating her death. Oh, you're a cop, are you? Because my dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No, I'm not a cop. Didn't think so. Just a concerned citizen, huh? That's right. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you'd know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. 3D. She never left the damn place. So what was it? 3D. Third floor, three on the door. Alright, so maybe you did know her. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? Um... Your relationship didn't seem particularly happy. How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. Woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. Uh, why? Do you say you that? You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I going to lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere. Never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. Hmm. What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally. But it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were gonna pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but... That's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Uh, living, uh, habits. Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. Living arrangements. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. I'm glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good it did. Ooh, present. So you can ask her about it. Oh, ask, her, ask him about it. What did you give your mom for Mother's Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. It's been years. Just dust on the ground now. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. 
Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, new bits of information. <coughs> so we're gonna have to go back. Well, let's actually go to. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Mm, I was thinking maybe going to the New Yorker and ask there. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything new out of him based on that. I don't think going to Harriet Shems is gonna help. Let's try this again. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Yeah, we're in a position where we're kind of going backwards and forwards. We're mainly focusing on this one now. This place is filthy. I'm not sure what we're gonna do after the like after a they while. Wanna fight? I'll give them one. Uh because we are gonna have to go back to the other case as hey, well. Kid, knock on the gate again. My, I'm popular today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Do you still have that present I gave you? Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which, Which present, present was that? Oh, my goodness. Uh, flowers. Um, the flowers? You never gave me flowers, Sam. No one has given me flowers in 20 years. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. About the which perfume? Um, the perfume? You never gave. What would I? About which? Okay, the hat. The uh, hat. Um, the hat. A hat. Sam, have you ever? No, no. About which? Per scarf. Um, Th the there's scarf. no way to figure that Don't out. Be silly, Sam. Oh, right. What? About that? Which? Never mind. Huh. I'm going. I'll come. Sure, I'll be. I'm gonna have to go back to. Have a look at the inventory then. I'm back. You were gone? Hmm. This kid does. He's wearing a. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go back to Sherman's and ask her about it, maybe. It's open! Mrs. Sherman. Hello, you got me. Yes, I did. Well, I ain't... Do you know anything about this picture? I don't know the boy, but that was Mavis's living room. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Okay. Present. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, never heard of him. Do you know any? No. Do you know any? Oh, let's kiss that. John. Do you know a John Durkin? No, never heard of him. Hmm. Goodbye, John. To the New Yorker, then. I think we have to go with that. Yes. <coughs> I'm becoming. Have a chat with him and see if he's got anything useful to say on this. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis's son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Do you know I'm afraid- Oh, that's just gonna be that again. The present. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland, and said it was from her son. Aww. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yes. Yeah, I've heard of it. Hmm. What was that present Mavis got? It was a leather- Leatherband, okay, right. I think- Alright, you have a good night. To the construction site! Slowly. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. <laughs>